Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Gabrielle Ray and I present cases of the missing persons, unsolved homicides, and the unidentified. Today I will be presenting you the case of Charlene Kramer, who has been missing from Denver, Colorado since June 17, 2011. She is a white female, born on August 31st, 1968. She stands at 5 foot 2, weighs 115 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. She may use the last name Shelton and has scars on both cheeks and both wrists. She was 42 years old and had previously lived in Arkansas. She was left to play the role of mother from the very beginning, as her own mother was not there enough to really care for her or her siblings. She has a sister and a half-brother, which her half-brother she was very protective over. He had been bullied for being a mixed race and she would do anything she could to protect him. She was a very emotional person and cared very deeply for others, and even allowed the pain of others to get under her skin and affect her very deeply. She began using alcohol as an escape for her problems, which ended up turning to her regularly drinking on a daily basis. Her daughter Jamie believes that her being so emotional and so caring for others is the reason she fell so deep into her addiction. She had three kids, Ashley, Jamie, and Corey. Ashley was born with hydrocephalus, which is a buildup of fluid in the cavities deep within the brain. It usually affects infants and older adults, and the extra fluid puts pressure on the brain and can end up causing brain damage, which alongside from having hydrocephalus, she also was born with autism, which she ended up needing extensive care from a caretaker. Jamie was born next, and her father ended up being her caretaker. Corey, who was the next born, was adopted into a loving family. She was considered homeless, but we will learn that she was not technically living on the streets. She actually was not reported missing, though, until December 15th, 2011, six months after her initial disappearance. The friends that she lived with lived questionable lifestyles, but were willing to support her enough to get her by. As odd as this is, the friends that she had lived with previously have either all passed or have seemingly disappeared themselves. This suspicious circumstance led Jamie to believe that they may have led to her disappearance. She may have stayed at Father Woody's Haven of Hope, which is a homeless shelter in Denver, Colorado. But when her family reached out to shelter workers, nobody had recognized her. Unfortunately, her daughter Jamie was unable to get legitimate help from police or investigators. The family posted flyers around the area, checked jail records, but to no avail, and also had a friend check housing and phone numbers, but nothing was found. Her daughter Jamie, her sister, and her half-brother have been active in helping to look for her to this day. Jamie has created a Facebook page called Charlene Shelton Kramer, Missing Person, to post updates just in case there are any in the case and also to spread information and spread the word on her mother's disappearance. Which, on a side note, I just want to say that I do absolutely love when there are Facebook pages of missing people dedicated to them because you never know how far information can reach, especially on social media, and I feel like that is the key to finding out any key pieces, if there are any, in any cases is via Twitter, Facebook, you know, uh, making a Pinterest account even, you know, something to share pictures and something that can be reached worldwide by everybody and hopefully get her face out there and get her name out there and allow people to retain knowledge of this case and the information that comes with it. 
This case is still open, though there is no hard evidence at this time. The family has not stopped praying for her safe return, and Jamie believes that one day the family will have answers. She loved to scrapbook, and one of Jamie's fondest memories as a child was all of the fun stickers that she would use on each page. She is a lost soul, and her family loves and misses her always. Unfortunately, that is all the information that I could attain on Charlene Kramer's disappearance. I had spoken with her daughter, Jamie, which she is an amazing soul who does not deserve the pain and heartbreak that her and her family are going through. And I just hope that, if anything, this video helps somebody somewhere, anywhere, to come forward with information or generate a tip on this disappearance because nobody deserves to be missing their family member like this. A few conclusions and questions could be drawn from this disappearance. Um, I just want to point out that I'm not sure if there was a cell phone in her possession and um, I'm not sure if they could use that to trace where she is or her phone records or anything like that. I'm sure investigators in the family have already done that, but I'm not quite positive myself. Um, a few of the conclusions that could be drawn from this case are that, you know, best case scenario, she's out there living transient lifestyle in a different shelter or living with some different friends somewhere else and just unable to reach her family or unfortunately has fallen into active addiction and, you know, dropped off the face of the earth because I know that, you know, a couple people that I know have been in active addiction and when they do, they kind of stop talking to people and withdrawing, but I feel that this is a very slim chance that she is only not calling her family because she is in active addiction. She was very close with her family and she uh, was very loving and I don't believe that she would go this long without contact to her family or to her friends. I am also not convinced that this is a suicide. I do not think that she would run away and take her own life because, again, of the way she loved her family and the close contact they kept with each other. Um, and foul play is a possibility. It's always a possibility, but we are not sure. There's no hard evidence that there is any foul play in this case. And, um, it could have been somebody she knew or it could have been a stranger if, unfortunately, she did run into this circumstance, which I am praying and praying that this is not the outcome. Um, her friends did lead to questionable lifestyles, which I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it could lead anybody to speculate, you know, did these people have a hand in her disappearance? Did these people know more than they told police, if they even talked to police at all? Did they know anything about where she was going? Did she say anything to them, you know? we're not sure and unfortunately you know speculations can lead far and wide in this case because of the lack of information but getting her face out there and getting her name out there is so important and so crucial in this line of work because you need in order to generate these tips you know this video needs to reach the right person and hopefully I'm praying that this video does because this family does not deserve what they are going through. I believe that somebody somewhere knows something about Charlene Kramer and where she is right now and if you are that person please call the Denver Police Department at 720-913-2000. Her name is case number is MP21242, and the agency case number is 
2011-5014631. Once again, Charlene Kramer is a white female. She was born on August 31st, 1968. She is five foot two and weighs 115 pounds. She has brown hair and blue eyes. May go by the last name Shelton and she has scars on both cheeks and both wrists. Please, if you have any information, do not hesitate to call the Denver Police Department. This family deserves closure and answers and most importantly, peace. Thank you all for watching my video and I hope you have a great night.